Alright, welcome back to the next part of the Learn English with us. And I think that today is going to be so long, okay? Today is going to be so long because those are, we have a lot of words to describe, okay? Next one is fed up. Oh, um, the more, the, 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 the longer of the lessons we got, uh, the, the, the more, the more time we spend together, okay? So, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, then breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so let's begin with the next word, fed up. Fed up means annoyed or upset at the situation or the treatment, okay? It means you're feeling not, not, not well, uninterested, undecided. It means gang, boring, okay, fed up. Means annoyed or upset. Like you have a feeling of uh, angry, angry, angry. So you're fed up. Everything you give up. You don't want to do anymore. In a sad feeling, people don't do anything much. Just sit. Sit with the uh, smartphone or the um, phone. Okay, just say like that. Um, wiping up, wipe down, wipe down, and wipe up, wipe up, and then wipe down. Then, turns again. Begins in a new feeling. Okay, uh, fed up means... Gang, okay, but man. Guilty. Guilty means culpable or responsible for a specified wrongdoing. Like you have did it wrong, but you are feeling like you 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 you, you, you sorry about that. So you're feeling sorry, you're feeling uh you need to sorry because the thing you have did it wrong. So, guilty means tội lỗi, okay? Homesick. Oh my god, homesick. Homesick means experiencing longing for one's home doing home during during a period of absence from it. Uh means you have uh you 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 you, you have to leave your house. Like you're going abroad, okay? You're going abroad for your study, and a long time you did not, you did not return back to your home, and then you feel really homesick. You really feel homesick, um, because you have, uh, leave, you have left the, your house so such a long time. And you're feeling homesick. Homesick means nha nha, okay? Irritated. Irritated means showing or feeling slight anger. Annoyed or annoyed, okay? Be good okay? Irritated. Like, like that, okay? Irritated means be good Sorry, we don't have time. No, we, we we still have time, but no examples. Jealous. Jealous is a feeling or showing showing envy or of someone or their achievements and advantages. Means, um, uh, the boy, the boy sending. Ah, uh, okay, okay, the put. There's a student in your class gets 10 marks, but you're gone, you only get about 5 marks, and you're feeling jealous, jealous, because he has higher marks than yours, so you, you are feeling jealous. Jealous means, um, getting to, okay, jealous. Nervous, nervous means easily agitated or alarmed, tending to be anxious, highly strong, means you're feeling really worried about something that good, it is gonna happen. Nervous, lang. just like tomorrow it is, you will have an exam, you have an exam so you, re, you feel really nervous, 
Okay? Okay, so next word. Pleased. Pleased uh, means feeling or showing pleasure and satisfi satisfaction, especially at an event or a situation. Means vừa làm. I like you have got 10 marks and you are you feel you you feel pleased okay you feel pleased with the thing you have got means you have got 10 marks and you feel really happy and pleased okay vừa làm. proud 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 means feeling deep pleasure or satisfaction as a result of one's own achievements, quali qualities, or possessions are those of the someone with whom is one is closely, closely associated. Pr also, proud means uh, okay. You 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 have got a uh, really high marks at an exam like you are the the only one person who got 10 marks example okay you are the only person who got 10 marks in the class and when you tell to your parents about that they feel really proud of, proud of you because you have got 10 marks at your school at your class so proud means tự hào okay Okay, so let's start with the next word. It is the word relieved. Relieved means relief means no longer feeling distressed or unanxious. Reassured means an tâm. Like you, 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 you have done something. Like you have taken a test. You have taken a test. And uh, you have reviewed, review, and review a lot. Of, a lot. When you do the test, then after you did it, you feel really relieved. You, you feel it means an tâm. You done. You've done, and uh, a good feeling. Okay, good feeling, and you feel free because you have done it. Not. Not uh, unfreedom anymore. So relief means an tâm. Satisfied. Satisfied means contented, pleased, hài lòng. Okay. The result you have got it is ten marks. You feel really satisfied. Satisfied about that. Okay, hài lòng. The same meanings are pleased. Shocked is a feeling or surprised and upset of surprise and upset like um the boy that man that boy in your class uh is always a good student and he always gets 10 marks but this time he only gets seven marks so you feel really shocked about that shocked about the marks that the boy has got it is only seven but normally he gets 10. This is the, 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 the smartest the, the smartest student in the class. This time only gets 7. So you feel shocked about that. Okay? Shocked means be shocked. Ups, upset. Upset said is a feeling of unhappy, disappointed, or worried. Boom, ba. Okay, it's just the same meaning as um as what um uh, the the press upset is like example like uh you did okay the lover okay the boyfriend or your girlfriend leaves you then you feel really upset about that you feel really sad really bad about it you feel really strange yeah okay uh upset means boom bah. okay so we have done explaining the words. So we'll be right back to do the exercise number one on page number seven, 14. Like I have told you, it is such a long time. We have to do the more time we got, the more knowledge we 